In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. It is more humble to have an intermediary with Christ. It is more perfect because it supposes greater humility to approach God through a mediator rather than directly by ourselves. Our human nature is so spoiled that if we rely on our own work, effort and preparedness to reach God and please Him, it is certain that our good works will be tainted and carry little weight with Him. They will not induce Him to unite Himself to us or answer our prayers. God had His reasons for giving us mediators with Him. He saw our unworthiness and helplessness and had pity on us to give us access to his mercies he provided us with powerful advocates so that to neglect these mediators and to approach his infinite holiness directly and without help from any one of them is to be lacking in humility and respect towards god who is so great and holy it would mean that we have less esteem for the king of kings than for an earthly king or ruler for we would not dare approach an earthly king without a friend to speak for us our lord is our advocate and our mediator of redemption with god the father it is through him that we must pray with the whole church triumphant and militant it is through him that we have access to God the Father. We would never appear before God our Father unless we are supported by the merits of his Son, and so to speak, clothed in them. As young Jacob was clothed in the skin of the young goats when he appeared before his father Isaac to receive his blessing. But have we no need at all of a mediator with the mediator himself? Are we pure enough to be united directly to Christ without any help? Is Jesus not God equal in every way to the Father? Therefore, is he not the Holy of Holies, having a right to the same respect as his Father? If in his infinite love he became our security and our mediator with his Father, whom he wished to appease in order to redeem us from our debts, should we on that account show him less respect and have less regard for the majesty and holiness of his person let us not be afraid to say with saint bernard that we need a mediator with the mediator himself and the divinely honored mary is the one most able to fulfill this office of love through her jesus came to us through her we should go to him if we are afraid of going directly to jesus who is god because of his infinite greatness or our lowliness or our sins let us implore without fear the help and intercession of mary our mother she is kind she is tender and there is nothing harsh or forbidding about her nothing too sublime or too brilliant when we see her we see our own human nature at its purest she is not the sun dazzling our weak sight by the brightness of its rays rather she is fair and gentle as the moon which receives its light from the sun and softens it and adapts it into our limited perception she is so full of love that no one who asks for her intercession is rejected no matter how sinful he may be the saints say that it has never been known since the world began that anyone had recourse to our blessed lady with trust and perseverance and was rejected 
Her power is so great that her prayers are never refused. She has but to appear in prayer before her son, and he at once welcomes her and grants her request. He is always lovingly conquered by the prayers of the dear mother, who bore him and nourished him. All this is taken from Saint Bernard and Saint Bonaventure. According to them, we have three steps to take in order to reach God. The first, nearest to us and most suited to our capacity, is Mary. The second is Jesus Christ. The third is God the Father. To go to Jesus, we should go to Mary, our mediatrix of intercession. To go to God the Father, we must go to Jesus, our mediator of of redemption in the patris et vili et spiritus sancti amen thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment down below god bless you all